Now that you've completed the initial setup of the HRC400, we're going to show you what you'll see on the home screen of the Beehive Pro app. The first thing you'll see is an indication letting you know the next scheduled watering event for your controller. On the top right of the screen, you'll see a little weather icon letting you know both the current temperature as well as the amount of sun that you're getting right now. On the top left of the screen, you'll see a connectivity icon. This is going to let you know if your HRC400 is actively connected to the network. Right now, it's showing that it is. On the bottom left, you'll see a calendar icon, and when you tap into there, it'll show you the scheduled watering events that are taking place, as well as some of the forecasted weather that's coming up. When you tap into programs, this is where you can turn smart watering either on or off for each of the zones, and then also to create a traditional program. We have four different programs that you can schedule from right here in this screen. When you go over to zones and tap that, this is where you can go into the details of each zone to turn smart watering on or off, put in the smart details, also to name the zone or take pictures, and to see the history of what watering events have taken place, and to indicate the soil moisture level that is accurate for that zone. So next, going back, there's the settings, and from within here, you can take a look at the Beehive account. You can take a look at what devices are currently connected to your account, the watering history, notifications, and also access to help if you have any issues. The next thing that you'll see is a small rain delay icon near the bottom of the screen. When you tap on that, you can quickly set a rain delay for 24 hours, 48 hours, or for longer periods if needed. Now the last thing you can do is tap on the Beehive Pro logo near the top of the screen. When you do that, it will show you what devices are connected to your account and allow you to quickly select which device you would like to control. And that was an overview of the home screen for the Beehive Pro app. For more video tutorials, be sure to check out our YouTube channel.